Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create and customize layouts on the ATAS order flow trading platform. Now, layouts will essentially allow you to swap back and forth between multiple windows. So let's say, for example, you wanted to have a, a layout comprised of a smart dome in a chart for just the E-mini S&P 500, and then you have another layout for, let's say, the NASDAQ, one for the Dow. You can really, in your customization options can really get endless here. So this is really up for interpretation. Not everybody's going to want to do the same exact thing. People may have different reasonings for their layouts as well, whether they have different monitors or whatever the case may be. This is obviously going to differentiate between trader to trader. Now, there are two locations in which you can manage and customize your layouts. The first of which we're going to go to settings and then you'll see there's layout settings and layouts. Now, when you click on layouts, you'll see you get this little toolbar here. This will allow us to swap back and forth between our layouts. So you see we have one here called universal, this one called unt untitled. This will allow us to swap back and forth. So you'll see we can easily switch back and forth. So let's say, for example, we're on universal right now. We can open up a chart. Let's open up one for the ES. It's going to open up on my other monitor here. Switch to untitled. It's going to open up my other chart. I go to Universal, and now it's going to open up the ESC9 chart. So wherever you customize your layout, however you have it laid out accordingly, your layout will open up right there in exactly how you had it before. So now let's take a look at the other options for layouts, and this is going to be a layout setting. So this is actually where we're going to go ahead and create our multiple layouts. So as you can see here, the untitled is actually the default one. That's because I did clone it at one time and um, I believe I changed the name. As you can see, you do have the option to clone. So if you do like some the way something is laid out and maybe you just want to change the symbol on it, you can go ahead and click clone layout, change the name of it. So we'll name it clone two. Let's try that again. Click on rename. So there we have it. It actually just got cloned for us. So now you can see we can now let's close this out, hop back and forth between our universal layout, untitled, and then our cloned. Now, the only thing is, is because I am using multiple monitors, things are opening up in the background here. As you can see, there's something in the back there. And just the way I have it laid out now is, is, is a little bit different. I did put a notepad up in the background here just so you wouldn't have to stare at my monitor background. So that's the only reason you're seeing the, um, the notepad there instead of this chart. But as you can see, and down in my window straight here, it did open up just so you do see that. So let's go ahead and let's try and add a new default layout or a, a brand new layout from scratch, I should say. So let's go ahead, let's click on add here. As you can see, this is gonna create a new layout for us. Let's name this new layout. So just so you see, I made this mistake twice already, but instead of pressing enter, make sure you're doing add. So we're gonna call this layout. It's gonna create this for us here. So we have a couple different options. We can remove, we can load a layout from here, but since we have this layout toolbar here, we don't really need to. We can move this up or down. So as you can see, it's now at the front there. So let's close this out. We should be able to make this a bit bigger so we can see all our layouts. Let's go to layout one. Let's open up a dome here. So now we have a dome in a chart. And you'll notice that if you do start with one layout and start to create new, it'll almost essentially clone it and kind of carry over the other widgets or the other charts from that layout. So that's something to keep in mind. If you want to start from a, a new layout from scratch, maybe close everything out. But as you can see here, so we're on layout now, we can go to universal, that's going to close out We can go to untitled, that's going to close out. Um, you'll see now in the system trade down at the bottom, I actually don't have that original chart that I created on clone two. Let's go to clone two. And you should see there you have it, the gold chart in the background there. So as you can see, this is just a really quick video on how to swap back and forth between layouts. Of course, you can customize this and arrange as needed. Like I said, layouts aren't going to be, you know, one set way for every single person. 
it's going to be different from trader to trader and everybody's going to have their own method again maybe one person ha wants to have a dome just for the es so you open it up that way maybe another one you could rename this to gold and you'll have all your gold contracts related to this so you know we can open up in a gold dome for this um maybe a chart trader instead and you just trade off of that it really depends but again we just wanted to show you the functionality I apologize for the notepad in the background. I just wanted to avoid showing you my whole desktop the entire time because as you know, this is the main homepage of ATAS. Everything you open up does open up in its own little separate window. So if you don't have anything on that window there, it's actually just gonna open up on your desktop. So that's the only reason why we have a blank notepad, but now you know. If you do have any questions on this video, please post it in the comment section down below or you can head over to our community forum that's linked in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more ATAS order flow trading content, and as always, thanks for watching.